Rarely diagnosed cancers are now on the rise and may be a key reason why cancer cases could surge by 77% by 2050. But what's causing this alarming increase, and why are these cancers hitting young adults harder than ever? In this video we'll explore why these five cancers are on the rise. But don't worry, we won't just leave you with concerns. As we reveal each type of cancer, we'll also share practical tips to help you lower your risk. So let's dive in starting with number five, thyroid cancer. Did you know that the small butterfly shaped gland in your neck could be hiding a growing danger? Thyroid cancer rates are soaring and the reasons might surprise you. First, doctors are getting better at finding thyroid cancer early with new tools and tests that can spot even tiny cancers. This means more cases are being caught than before, but that's not the whole story. Some experts believe our environment might also play a role. Factors like what we eat, drink, and breathe could be affecting our thyroid glands. So what can you do to protect yourself? Start by checking your neck at home. Gently feel your neck area for any lumps or swelling. If you notice anything unusual, talk to your doctor. It's always better to be safe than sorry. To lower your risk of thyroid cancer, try to avoid excessive radiation. Be mindful of x-rays and other medical tests that use radiation. Maintaining a healthy weight through good nutrition and exercise can also help. Another tip is to ensure you're getting enough iodine, which is crucial for thyroid health. Foods like fish, dairy products, and iodized salt are good sources. But don't overdo it. Too much iodine can also be harmful. Talk to your doctor about the right amount for you. Remember, thyroid cancer can sometimes return even years after treatment. That's why regular checkups with your doctor are so important. Early detection makes treatment much easier. Don't let this information scare you. Use it to take charge of your health. Keep an eye on your neck, make healthy choices, and don't hesitate to consult your doctor if you have any concerns. Next on our countdown is number four, melanoma. Melanoma is the most dangerous form of skin cancer, and it's not just affecting older people anymore. More young adults are being diagnosed with this serious condition. Why is this happening? A major reason is that many of us spend more time in the sun. While being outside is great, too much sun exposure can be harmful to our skin. Research shows that early onset melanoma in younger adults can be more aggressive and may appear at a more advanced stage than in older adults. However, we can protect ourselves from melanoma and one of the simplest ways is to use sunscreen every day, even when it's cloudy, since the sun's rays can still damage your skin. Make sunscreen a part of your daily routine, just like brushing your teeth. Regular skin checkups are also key. Your doctor can check for any unusual spots or moles. You can also do a self-check at home using the ABCDE method. A is for asymmetry. If you draw a line through the mole, both sides should match. B is for border. Normal moles have smooth, even edges. C is for color. A normal mole is usually one color. Multiple colors or shades are a warning sign. D is for diameter. Most normal moles are smaller than a pencil eraser, about 6 millimeters. E is for evolving. Watch for changes in size, shape, color, or any new symptoms like itching or bleeding. If you spot any of these signs, see your doctor right away. To lower your risk, wear long sleeve shirts, long pants, and wide brimmed hats when you're in the sun. Seek shade, especially during midday when the sun is the strongest. And don't forget about your eyes. The skin around your eyes is delicate and can easily get sunburned. Wearing sunglasses protects both your eyes and the skin around them. Now let's move on from protecting our skin to focusing on an organ we can't see. At number three, pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is becoming a growing concern, especially among younger people. This cancer affects the pancreas, an organ that helps with digestion and blood sugar control. Dr. Scott Kopetz, an expert in the field, notes, in our clinical practice, we're seeing patients presenting younger and presenting before ages of screening for many cancers. This trend is particularly alarming because pancreatic cancer is often called a silent killer. It usually doesn't show symptoms until it has spread to other parts of the body. So what's causing this increase? 
One factor might be the rise in obesity rates. Carrying extra weight can increase your risk of pancreatic cancer. Smoking is another big risk factor. Even if you quit years ago, your risk might still be higher than someone who never smoked. Family history also plays a role. If close relatives have had pancreatic cancer, your risk may be higher. Now let's talk about what you can do to lower your risk. Start by maintaining a healthy weight and diet. Focus on eating nutritious foods and avoiding processed and sugary items. If you're a smoker, quitting is one of the best steps you can take for your health. Limiting alcohol is also a good idea. Drinking too much can damage your pancreas over time. Try to limit alcohol to no more than one drink a day for women or two for men. Or better yet, save it for special occasions. While pancreatic cancer can be hard to detect early, you're not helpless. By making healthy lifestyle choices and staying aware of the risks, you can reduce your chances and catch any issues early when they're easier to treat. At number two on our countdown, we have breast cancer. Breast cancer used to be seen mostly as a problem for older women. But now, more women under 45 are being diagnosed with this disease. This change has doctors and patients alike concerned. Surprisingly, even some men are getting breast cancer, though it's less common than in women. So why is this happening? Gene mutations play a role. Some young women have changes in their genes that make them more likely to develop breast cancer, but this only explains about 20% of cases in younger women. Certain types, like triple negative and HER2 positive breast cancers, can also grow faster in younger people and can be harder to treat. Another issue is that many young women don't get checked as often because they think they're too young for breast cancer. This can make it harder to catch the cancer early when it's easier to treat. Dr. Rosenblit, an oncologist, says, We're beginning to recognize that family history is very important. If someone in your family has had breast cancer, your risk may be higher. Lifestyle factors like obesity, tobacco use, and alcohol consumption can also increase your risk. So, what can you do to protect yourself? Start by regularly checking your breasts for any changes. If you notice anything unusual, like a lump or a change in how your breast looks or feels, see your doctor right away. For women, regular mammograms are also crucial. These special x-rays can detect breast cancer early, even before you can feel it. There are also daily habits that can lower your risk. Staying active is one of the best things you can do. You don't have to run marathons. Even a brisk walk every day can make a difference. If you have a strong family history of breast cancer, consider genetic testing. This can give you a clearer picture of your risk and help you make informed decisions about screening and prevention. Last, but not least at number one, colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer cases in adults under 55 have nearly doubled since 1995, jumping from 11% to 20% by 2019. So, what's causing this rise? Diet, obesity, and lifestyle choices all play a role. Our modern way of living, like eating lots of processed foods and not getting enough exercise, might be contributing to the increase. Let's talk about the symptoms. Changes in your bowel habits, such as diarrhea or constipation that lasts for more than a few days, could be a warning sign. Other symptoms include rectal bleeding or blood in your stool, cramps or pain in your belly, unexplained weakness or tiredness, and unintentional weight loss. If you notice any of these signs, don't ignore them. Early detection makes colorectal cancer much easier to treat. Dr. Ahmedin Jamal, an expert in the field, emphasizes that we need to halt and reverse this trend by increasing uptake of screening. To protect yourself, Focus on a balanced diet that's high in fiber. Load up on fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and try to cut back on processed and red meats. Maintaining a healthy weight is also key. Regular exercise is important too. Aim for about 30 minutes of activity most days of the week to keep your body healthy. Lastly, don't ignore persistent digestive issues. If you experience stomach pain or see blood in your stool for more than a few days, see your doctor. Remember, colorectal cancer isn't just an older person's disease. Be proactive about your health, listen to your body, 
and don't hesitate to get a checkup if something feels off. And there you have it, five cancers on the rise, thyroid, melanoma, pancreatic, breast, and colorectal. The good news is you have the power to reduce your risk. Simple lifestyle changes, like eating a balanced diet and getting regular exercise, can make a big difference. Use what you've learned today to take control of your health. Remember, it's never too early or too late to start protecting yourself. We'd love to hear from you. Have you or someone you know been affected by these cancers? What lifestyle changes made a difference? Share your tips and insights in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest health tips. And if this video has been valuable to you, consider sending us a super thanks. It's a wonderful way to support our channel and help us continue making informative content. Also, don't forget to check out our merchandise for some cool stuff. Thank you for watching, and here's to your health.